How do folks, welcome along to the vlog. I wasn't gonna do a video on this today, but it's actually such an easy job, I thought why not break the camera out and show you what's going on. So, here we have a double glazed opening sash on a casement window, and what's happened is, when the window is closed, you can see daylight through the top of the window in the room there so effectively the sash has dropped on this side down meaning that uh, everything's out of line the keeps don't line up nothing else lines up and the reason is when these were installed back in 2005 we weren't in the house but it's obvious what's happened and I know it's 2005 because that's the date stamp on the double glazed unit over there a sash window like this needs packing in a certain way it's called toe and healing and unfortunately the installer has done it the wrong way around in this window he's toe and healed it down instead of up now the idea behind toe and healing is you want to use the glass to brace the frame in a diagonal manner taking the weight from the unhinged side the handle side and transferring that to the hinges and at the same time lifting the base this section up slightly so you need to put packers in the bottom hinge side and the top handle side now you've all seen gates that have the diagonal braces running across like this that's exactly the same concept it's used to transfer the weight of the whole frame onto the hinges and you do that by something called toe and healing so I've stripped off the uh, old beading this is an externally glazed frame so you have to take the beading off from the outside and then to remove the glass you have to go on the inside and cut the double sided tape away this is obviously um, to prevent a burglar coming along and popping the beading out and then getting access to your house so it's just a case of getting a putty knife around the back here popping this out and then going inside with a Stanley knife and carefully cutting the double sided tape down this edge if you've got internally beaded frames no bother just go on the inside and take the beads out if you've got wedge gasket then you won't have double sided tape on the inside but you'll have a gasket that you pull out and that allows the whole frame to move back the whole window to move back and then you can get your beads out so there are all different types of uh, ways of securing the glass into the frame and then with the frame itself I've simply taken a knife run it down the edge just to trim off where that double sided tape was you can see the remnants of it there but we've taken that off here's some look on my foot and that was stuck on there like that so we've cleaned the frame up and then all I'm going to do now is just peel the corners of this double sided tape off. I'm not going to take the whole thing off. Let's try this bottom corner instead. So the idea here is we want to create a couple of tabs. So there we go. When we put the glass in and we've toe and healed it, it won't have stuck to the double sided tape yet. When we've got it lined up and the window shuts perfectly, we can put the beading in and then go on the inside and pull these tabs and it will remove that double sided tape, thus sticking the glass to the tape. So I'm gonna put the glass in now and I wanna show you, hopefully, because I don't have a big tripod here, but I'm going to hopefully show you how to toe and heal the glass. Right, this is tricky doing one man filming show. Gemma was going to help me, but we'll be okay. So, down in this corner, you'll see that I've got a packer under that section there and a packer under that section there. That's to lift the glass, so we've got some room to play with this end, and it's also to bring it in and square it up with the line of the frame on the inside and then over here we've put a blue packer in 
and that is pushing down on the glass but it's lifted this corner of the frame up and then again we've got a white packer in this corner squaring the frame up so now the weight of this window is transferred across this glass into this corner meaning that the frame when I now push it shut lines up with the frame next to it pay no mind to the mastic it's absolutely awful and I didn't do it but you can see now that it lines up whereas before this frame here was down here somewhere so now it's just a case of peeling that tape back and popping the bead in and then it is job done so I'm just going to pop these packers in so they don't foul the beading and then on the inside if you can come round here Jam and have a look right into here those tabs that we made they now allow me to pull out the double sided tape when we've got the glass in the position that we want it it really is oh no that easy <laughs> so we've lost one that's all right three will do so shall i go and get it out a can proper you see tradesman it? would wouldn't he i don't know yeah let's get that uh, bit of plastic out before we push the glass in I'm not going to complain to anybody. I know you won't, but I'll know it's there. Well, which way shall I go? That's probably a better angle. So I should be able to fish it out. I wouldn't be able to live with myself, Jim, if I knew it was there. Did it just niggle away at you? Yeah. So I'm just fishing it here with the tip of a Stanley blade and it is coming it's just not the easiest thing in the world to get hold of oh come on my knife keeps sticking to the double sided tape there we go professional in the house so yeah, there we go, perfect. Bottom corner in, top corner in. That glass is now pressed home. And once the packers are in, that should close, no problem. And then we've got to put the beading in. Now unfortunately, like a prat, I haven't brought my bead hammer home, but I think I can get these in with a bit of brute force and ignorance just like that he says if any of them are going to give me bother it might be this one I recommend a plastic mallet for this of course Oh yes, there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, is how you change uh, your toenail. Hold on, that's not going in. There we go. Yes. So that is how your toenail, an incorrectly fitted casement opener. Ta-da! Right then, let's do the next one.